Hey you, Archie here. Today in Minecraft Survival I am building this barracks and gatehouse, plus so much more. Let's get into it. Quick update from last episode. All of those villagers have now been given jobs, there were 98 in total, so we've ended up with a ton of masons and essentially now we're ready to have a city. But that city will need a council and I think I know who needs the job. Hi Gerald, hi, hi. Let me know in the comments of any other contenders for council. For now, we have Hyacinth the Destroyer, and of course, Gerald. And why are you hanging out on the stairs? You do you. You're my favourite. I'm going to need a lot of resources today. So we need to do some prep work. I'm enchanting three different pickaxes and then we're going to be going deep into the nether to hunt for ancient debris. Fifty-two, not bad. Plus all of these goodies. So let's smelt these up make some ingots and get upgrading. Ooh, shiny. Next I'm going to be building a bone meal moss farm designed by Il Mango. Link in the description. I'm always going to need a ton of wood and a farm like this in spawn is perfect for use with the next farm. This farm is essentially a stone generator that is converted to moss and then composted. Even with the small version, the rates are glorious. Alongside that, we have a wood farm by Ian XO4. Link will be in the description. This TNT based farm can harvest most forms of wood, at least the ones I need for the city. I did an evening of farming. And as you can see, the results are huge. Six shulkers of spruce alone. Amazing. Some more traditional resource gathering now, including sandstone. Some of which I'm going to smelt. Stripping some wood. And gathering a variety of leaves. Before chilling in my moss farm hot tub and then stripping yet more wood. Oh, I guess you found the bedroom. Well, this is awkward. Um, I guess it's yours now. Um, enjoy. I guess I'm sleeping outside then. Right, all resources have been gathered, so let's get building, baby. Grab a cuppa, let's go.
I hope you enjoyed the build. If so, make sure to like and subscribe. Now this barracks is meant to be home for some villagers, so let's get some over here. Come on buddy. On to the returning dirt path of glory to your forever home. Just don't look down. Don't look down. So let's go and see how our villager friends are doing. As you can see, I've done the interior for the barracks and we've got some of the villagers at the front here. Before going inside, we've got the sleeping area over here on the left and then some storage in the dining area and of course a viewing area for the archers. We've got extra villagers down the side here and right in the centre, a giant furnace for making weapons, tools and armour. So, really happy with the interior, but I think this build needs one more thing to make it extra special. We'll be back later for a dock, ship and terraforming, but right now I need beacons. Now I'm going to need them not only for future projects, but also for some of the farms I already have built in this world. So back into the fortress, here I go again, I guess. Ugh. Right time to grind this out, three wither skulls needed. Oh hey buddy, come here. Nope. Bring it on. You've got nothing. Oh, no. No, 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 oh. oh, this is taking ages. Maybe if I thin out the piglin herd. Oh, they're angry. They're very, 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 very angry. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Not again. Oh, we go again. We go again. Oh man! <laughs> Two of them! Fantastic! Ah, there's the third. Thank goodness. Never again. Never again. I'm definitely making a wither skelly farm. Right after we kill the wither in the easiest way possible. And there he is. And there he's gone. And there's the beacon. Now time to make a wither skelly farm. First we need some nether bricks for the spawning platform. Then some cobwebs which I should be able to find in this stronghold. Nope, no such luck. Let's try some villages. Well, this looks good other than the mobs. Uh, uh, cobwebs acquired. Uh, this farm is by Ian X04. Full tutorial link in the description. First, I create the spawning platform. Well, <laughs> it looks like it's working already. Then some walls. Then a happy little home for our golem friend. Come on buddy, it's moving in day. Then as a platform up on the nether ceiling. With a nice and simple little killing chamber. Then we need to build a bridge over in the overworld where we use our cobwebs and finally we have a farm. Perfect. Look at all those wither skeletons flooding into that nether portal. And after a short AFK session we got over a stack of wither skeleton skulls which is going to get us plenty of beacons which I'll get by killing the wither now. And there's the beacons. And we're going to use them over at the raid farm so I can AFK it overnight. 
and quite clearly is profitable in levels and resources. So I'm just going to grab some building resources. Um, oh, hi Gerald. Um, snooping through my stuff, huh? Well, I'm going to build. See you later. Uh, enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so this is the view when we come in via the sea. Of course, we've got the ship over here. This is actually the first ever ship I've made in Minecraft, but I'm really happy with it. I think it fits the palace of the city and what we've got going on so far. Of course, we've got the gatehouse and the barracks looming out the front here. And I did the terraforming all the way around the edge here. And then if we get off here onto the dock, we can enter the city itself. Now the first thing that you'll see is the fountain, but we put a ton of custom trees, lighting, market stalls, everything around this area. It's starting to come to life I think, although it could do with some armor stands. Uh, oh, ignore that, it's just my shocker monster. Uh, it'll be gone soon enough. Anyway. Anyone who's commented on the first episode or this episode by the time episode 3 comes out will be getting an armor stand in this world, so that could be something to look forward to. Anyway, this is the sparring area of the barracks, and if we go down to the right here, we've got a machine dock. Uh, which I built a little, well not little, a large weeping willow off to the side which I'd say is easily my favourite type of tree to build. But I hope you enjoyed the tour, let's have a quick look with shaders. I'm going to put links on screen to the series playlist and another one of my videos, definitely worth checking out. And do all the cool things, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, take care and have a splendid day. Archie out.